Hi, in this slide I want to talk about the <clears throat> kinds of numbers that comprise, make up uh, the, the second side of the hexagon. Uh, let's call it balanced metrics. Um, one part of the metrics we want to provide for everybody are what I just highlighted uh, in the previous module, which is service metrics, whether it's six, seven, eight, or special uh, metrics for special niches of customers. Uh, again, for an overview, see the, the, the previous module. Go to Exhibit 3 at my website, Merrifield.com, or go to OpenSesame.com, Modules 4.1 to 4.13 of the whole service excellence story, how to define it, measure it, achieve it, sell it, get paid for it, leverage it. Um, when it comes to fill rates, uh, there will not be in the Open Sesame modules any conversation about uh, having line item profit analytics that allows you to actually create a PL and uh, and know the net profit of every single SKU that you have in your in your warehouse. But if you knew that and you could figure out the super winners and the super losers and beef up the super winners, particularly with the, the preferred vendors, with the vendors, you know, subsidy and help because you're going to give them a feedback on this, which will be valuable to them. And then to either fix and or reprice the super losers. Uh, and then track, have tracking capability to sort of look at the trend numbers going on. That's a very important uh, aspect, but you can't, you can't do that unless you have a, a line item profit analytics parallel reporting system, if you will, that provides all the, the original analytics and helps you identify the plays, get the plays going and have the tracking reports for the plays that constantly are in everybody's face, gently, firmly, structurally disciplining, reminding them to continue to improve, develop net profit. Um, another metric would be when you set up learn and earn cross training programs and you've got charts on the wall, uh, you can start to measure how many uh, modules have been mastered. So if we have 15 employees at a branch and we have a total potential of how many modules that could be mastered, what's that percent? And it can be looking pretty good. And then somebody who's a Jedi, you know, master leaves or gets promoted and a new person comes in, that's going to knock that metric down a bit. Um, we'll look later at what I call monthly mastery progress reports, and we can keep track of those uh, on the wall. Um, we want to keep track of heroic acts. In other words, when one of our five core customers or five target accounts has an unusual, exceptional, out-of-the-box kind of need, we delivered on it with icing on top. And we want to keep track of how many we've done. Uh, we want to keep track of heroic recoveries, not just because we had mistakes and we cured them, but we then do prevention rethinking and say, how did this happen? What systematically needs to be tweaked or changed so this doesn't happen in a systematic way again? So it's grist for our continuous improvement uh, of ser our service processes and, and the people that populate those. And then another important metric is how many published praising statements per week are we averaging, you know, over time uh, that let everybody know that actually lots of progress is happening in very small kind of ways uh, and add at the bottom there. Uh, so that those would be the, the, the balance metrics that would go into side number two. Uh, we'll come back and look at a, a subset, one more category of, 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 of metrics for side two uh, in the next slide. Thank you.